How big is the mega titan that was seen in one of the trailers of Godzilla Kong The New Empire? Well, MindQ is here to answer that question. Quick word though, we will not be making any MonsterVerse videos till The New Empire is released and we will again be waiting for some time before making any review or breakdown videos on these titans after the release. This is to allow the viewers to see the movie first before spoiling anything. But if you're too slow to the theaters, then no mercy for you, boy. Anyway, let's get to this topic at hand. So this photograph is quite popular now in social media and in YouTube as well, where many channels have showcased the released TV spots. Funny, when we break down one of these, we get a strike. Screw you, Warner Bros. Anyway, so the Super Mega Titan was shown in one of the scenes in the foreign TV spots and it acts as a bridge for Kong and Suko to cross over. The size of the skeleton is, in the words of Russell Peters, is mind-blasting. This mega gigantic skeleton seems to be serpentine at first, with some claiming it to be the monsterverse equivalent of the Norse world serpent, the dreaded German gander, that will lay waste to the world in Ragnarok. So yeah, it does look to be serpent-like in appearance, with the extremely long tail segment. But nope, it isn't, and we will tell you why. If you look at the skull for instance, it doesn't seem to appear like any reptilian. It doesn't look like a snake or an amphibian skull at all. In fact, it has mammalian features. It has the exact dimensions and design of a mammal from the group called Carnivora, which includes the bears, wolves, felines, canines and even weasels and lemurs. So let us show you a skull of a bear and place it right next to the image. Doesn't that look almost identical? Okay then, half a skull, just the upper half. That's exactly like the skull of the Mega Titan. Secondly, just after the skull and beside the neck vertebrae of the Mega Titan, we see a type of plate-like bone. And this, my friends, is called the scapula, which is present between the ribs and the skull. And from the scapula, joints emerge, which extend into arms or front limbs. So this Mega Titan is not a snake at all, but a four-legged beast with a very long tail. So how long is that skeleton? Pretty long, yeah? It actually acts as a bridge between the two realms in the Hollow Earth, with a massive river in between that gorge. One side is green and full of vegetation, let's call it Midgard, and the other side is full of volcanic eruptions and lava fields with an ashy and smoke-filled atmosphere, let's call this Muspelheim. Now in order to know the actual size, we have to create a skeleton that resembles it. After that, we will use an image of Kong who is present there in that scene as a reference point or a reference size so that we can extrapolate and properly assess the length of the dead titan. Now let's do this. So abracadabra, boobity boobity boop. Here we can see that Kong is in fact tiny even compared to half of the skull of the super titan. It looks like Kong is just but a mere cookie compared to it. So if we can agree that this is the same size of Kong in the image and compared to our edited skeleton then we can begin extrapolation. Here we see there is a total of 32 Kongs line up one after another to complete the length of the dead titan. And this too is just our estimation. The tail could have been longer. So 32 Kongs times 337 feet or 102.7 meters, which is Kong's height, we get roughly 10,800 feet or around 3.3 kilometers. I kid you not, that's the total length. And it could reach 4 kilometers but we have no more room for extra tail. Anyway, that's the length of the super dead titan. Now with that out of the way, we can explore the complete theoretical skeleton of this truly gigantic beast. A titan of the titans. They probably would have worshipped it as a god to be honest. So as we discussed a minute ago, this titan isn't a serpent or a snake-like entity like the Warbats and Tiamat. Judging from what we know, it has mammalian carnivoran skull, a set of gigantic ribs which shows that it has a mountain-sized belly or an abdomen. It also has a long tail like that of a lemur or a binturong, a bear cat. And lastly, it has scapulars which is evidence enough for the existence of arms and maybe even legs, let's say front limbs and hind limbs. Therefore, here is our imagination of what this complete skeleton would look like. And from this we can estimate that it would stand around 1.03 kilometers tall or almost 3,400 feet, 10 times that of Kong who is 102 meters or 337 feet tall. Here is our take on what it will look like in Dubai and New York. This super titan would be even taller than the Burj Khalifa, louder than Wiz Khalifa and deadlier than Mia Khalifa. <laughs> Joking, nothing's deadlier than Mia Khalifa, we all know that. 
The Titan would be almost 200 meters taller than the tallest building in the world, and twice the height of the tallest building in New York City as we can see here. This creature would rival the size of the Karathan of Aquaman that was stated to be 3.2 kilometers or 2 miles long. It would also be a challenge to the Cloverfield monster in size and would alongside them be in the range of the largest movie monsters ever with the likes of the Sumo Verminoth, Parallax, Paul Sandworm and the Exegoth. Now lastly, what does this mean for the Titan history in the Monsterverse? The hell do I know? Legendary by showing the existence of such a creature, although interesting and scenic, throws the entire lore and origins of the Titans in the Hollow Earth into disarray. The world building and the established knowledge of the Titans is now again back at square one. That is, we don't know shit. But we might get explanations in the movie, so hang on tight to your jock straps for the rise of a new empire. Now if you like this video then watch this other one as well and do check out our channel for other monsterverse and monster content. Like, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Take care fam.